Hi, it's Micheline with uh, Fit and Healthy for Yourself and today I want to talk to you about portion sizes. Portion size is pretty much what's going to make or break your life, lifestyle, your healthy lifestyle. Um, I'm not going to call it a diet because it's not a diet, it's a healthy lifestyle, it's for life. Um, nowadays everything is supersized. Um, everything is on a really big plate. You get a lot of food where easily um, one meal can put you way over your calorie limit for the day. So, how do you maintain your portion sizes without having to measure everything whenever you go somewhere? Um, I usually use these um, containers because they're just easy for me at home. I just pack everything in there and put it on the plate. Um, they look small, but believe me, they pack a lot of food in them. Um, and once you get a hang of it, you kind of start seeing how much you actually can eat. Um, so when you go out, you don't need it. Um, otherwise, when you um, don't have the containers or don't want to use the containers, um, you can use your hand. Um, it's very easy. The, uh, the palm of your hand is the size of your protein, your meat, your chicken, your fish. But the size is about three to four ounces. Um, your thumbnail is your butter and oil, so it pretty much equals one teaspoon. Uh, your thumb alone is um, cheese, salad, dressing, so it's about one to two tablespoons. Peanut butter, um, your fist one whole fist will be your veggies and your fruit and one cup of your hand is the carbs I know it's very small but carbs are everybody's downfall so just one little bit and that's it um, how can you cut down on your portion size use smaller plates it if you have a little bit of food on a gigantic plate your mind is going to play tricks on you and you're going to feel like that you're starving put in your little plate it's gonna look like a lot of food um, also package when you get home package everything in appropriate little baggies with the portion size right they are measured out um, again that's where your meal prepping comes in this way put your chips your crackers your grapes everything in those little things this way you don't eat an entire bag just this little portion size um, eat slowly because um, it takes your brain about 20 minutes to catch up with your stomach. So it take, so about 20 after 20 minutes, it's gonna start signaling if you're gonna get full or not. So if you eat very quickly, you're gonna overeat. So eat slowly. Also, um, read your food labels. That's very important because sometimes we, it's very misleading what the serving size is. Like one little of those Snapple bottles, that's actually two servings. So the calories on the back might be just 200, you're like, oh, yeah. but no, it's 200 per serving. So it's actually, you're drinking 400. So read your serving size. Um, in restaurants, share a meal. Um, package half of the meal up when it comes. This way you also have something for the next day. Easy, no cooking required. Uh, only order an appetizer. They sometimes, they are big too. So um, order dessert for the table and just get extra spoons. That's usually all you need. So um, I hope this was helpful and uh, look out for more videos from me and um, bye, it was Micheline from Fit and Healthy for Yourself. Thank you.